today we're gonna to do a quick video showing how to measure if your rear end is bent or it's straight. Um, there's a lot of ways that your rear end can get bent when you're racing, whether it's bumping a wall or getting in an accident or racing on some rough racetracks. So it's always a good idea to just double check and make sure everything's straight. Um, if your rear end is bent, it's gonna cause an ill handling race car because your wheel base is gonna be constantly changing, going back and forth every time you're on and off the gas. So we're just going to go over a couple methods. First we'll need to jack up the car enough that we can rotate the wheels. Then I use a white marker to put an X on each tire directly across from one another. I should note that the axles will need to be in during this process so the X's stay in line during the rotation. We're going to rotate the tire all the way around and take measurements in four positions across from each other. I learned this method when attending one of our Bob Harris classes. It's simple and doesn't require more than a tape measure and a person you can trust to hold that tape measure. If the rear end is straight, all four measurements will be the same. If it is bent, you'll find that some measurements will be shorter or longer as you rotate into different positions. Weir's machine has developed some 3 quarter inch thick billet setup plates that have a variety of uses. One of those uses is checking to see if your rear end is straight. They bolt on in place of the wheels and have slots built in to take accurate measurements from. One thing I like about using these plates is that they are a bit wider than the tires, so there's more clearance for measurements when you're trying to get around suspension components. We will need to remove one axle and level both plates to get accurate measurements at all four corners. Weirs has made this easy for us by building bubble levels directly into the setup plates. Another reason I like to use the Weirs plates is that with the slots that are machined into them, I can still take accurate measurements when I am working alone in the garage. The measurements from all four corners should read the same to indicate that your housing is straight. If they are different, you will need to repair or replace your housing. Thanks for watching our video today. Now I want everybody to head out in their garages and measure their ends and let us know what you find out in the comment section.